Hello Revivers! I have a question for you. Are you experiencing darkness, struggles, sadness, or just feeling down? Para sa yung video na ito, I really hope makatulong sa iyo. Ang content ng video na ito ay not about Facebook tutorials, but for the good of your well-being. To help you and cheer you up when you are going through in your current life. Trust me, you got this. You will be fine. Okay? So, our topic for this video is how to find real happiness or joy in darkness times. The following tips that I am going to share with you are the most effective ways that I have tried on my own when I was dealing and experiencing super darkness in my life. And get out of the darkness stronger, wiser, and happier. And that is why, as a coach, I would like to share them with you because there is so many of you out there who are struggling and thought it's the end of the world or don't know how to handle the situations. I hope this helps. Enjoy and good luck. All right. So, how to find real happiness or joy in darkness times? Number one tip, welcoming God, accepting God, and seeking God's presence. Be ready to open your hearts to let God help you, give you peace, strength, and wisdom to handle everything that what you are going through. Spending time with God like daily devo devotional, reading Bible, meditation, and prayer you will find comfort, guidance, and directions instantly. Number two, understand your feelings and understand the five stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Very important to remember that grieving process can be complex and isn't the same for everyone. These steps may not be followed exactly, or other feelings may surface after you thought the stages of grieving. Allowing room to experience grief in your own way can help you in the process of healing. Number three, serve, help someone or something. Go out to volunteer, not just sharing material things or financials to others, but your God-given talents. Your time, energy, and your heart desires to help is the most important or you can create a community where you can help and share your skills and knowledge and wisdom. Number four, practice daily thankfulness and gratefulness regardless of your circumstances we all going through. But the more we practice the art of thankfulness and gratefulness, the more we have to be thankful and grateful for. Number five, make a joy bucket list or journaling. Small things that find you joy or make you happy, add it to your list or journal. Number six, incorporate daily habits you look forward to like exercising or working out, spending quality time with your loved ones. Number seven, have a short recess. Every day, we are human beings that we all need a break. Example, practice me time every day to avoid being exhausted. Number eight, look for connection or support. Networking, connect with someone who you think you can trust someone you can listen to you and understand your situation very important that you have a support in this journey but make sure someone that you can trust and help you get out of your darkness hindi yung siya pa yung magpapa down sa yo or just being reconnected to the natures they can also listen to you and take over those negative thoughts that you may have. They are there to listen to you. Just go see, go see and enjoy them. Number nine, 
trust the Lord. Have faith, surrender, offer it to your God or Creator. Whatever you are going through, He will take care of you. And number 10, dance and laugh it out loud. The best thing we can do is just dance and laugh it loud. Of course, isn't that easy to say or do, but seriously, that's really the most important thing to do is dance and laugh it out loud. There you have it. All of these are the most effective ways to find real happiness or joy during my darkness times and even in my daily lives. Just trust the process and have faith. You will surpass it. You get this. Always remember that you are not alone. You don't know there is maybe worse than what you are going through. But one thing for sure, that you are favored, worthy, loved, and you are a child of God. If you like this video, kindly share it with the world. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Much love from Coach Bulat. Bye!